Welcome to Dicey Guy Show, where we are opening up a box today. It's from tabletopbattle.no. Thank you so much for sending it over. Quick and easy. Check out what's in the box. This is how it's packaged. Very nice. Very clean. And this is how it comes. The Warhammer Old World Forces of Fantasy. These are the good guys of the factions. So you have uh, one bad guy and one good guy and then you have the rule book. So you have three books and you, yeah, that's what you have. So as I'm going to be playing Bretonians, I am choosing Warhammer the Old World Army List for the Forces of Good, Forces of Fantasy. So um, yeah, it's going to be a little flick through the pages and see what's inside. So let's just go back here and see how it looks behind here. It's, um, it is the Dark Age, a bloody age, an age of strife and war, chaos and sorcery. Yet, amidst all the fire and fury, it's the time to be mighty heroes of bold deeds and great courage. Very nice. So, in this book, you will have the army list for Dwarves, Empire, Kingdom of Britannia, Wood Elves and High Elves. So, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what's in in the box it's what's in the uh, look at this this is amazing and you can see all this insignia from the different factions and stuff very cool so here we have elven uh, stuff and here you have bretonian stuff empire stuff dwarves nice okay forces of fantasy so how this book works. This is the book contains five army lists. Dwarven Mountain, Holes, Emperor of Man, Kingdom of Britannia, Wood Elf Realms and High Elf Realms. Each of which contains following information. Overview, Grand Army Composition List, Profiles, Matching Items, Special Rules, The Lore of and the Muster List. Minimum three units and the general. So yeah, that's how, how it's going to be working. And then you have a little bit fluffy time. Look at this, this is amazing art. So they are using uh, art from the old army books and that's just very nice. I can see, I very much recognize um, the iconic Bretonian arts here. Look at this. This is cool. So here is a little bit um, fluff to get you ready. And we start with the dwarves. So we are not going to go deep into the lore today. We're just going to open it up and just look a little bit on it and give you some idea what you get when you're buying this uh, book. So uh, yeah, uh, we are not going to ponder too much about the stats or anything. And uh, but uh, there's a what I can see here are a lot of the good old uh, dwarven compositions. Uh, which is very nice. Even Slayers. Nice! Gyrocopters, Gyro Bombers, Bolt Throwers, Grudge Throwers, Cannon, Flame Cannon, Organ, Runic Items. Uh, yeah, that's the, their uh, type of um, magic. Oh, look at this. We're going to pause a little bit and just soak in a little bit cool army looking goodness here. And here you have some uh, yeah, miniatures, you can get some idea how you want to paint them. And then we go to the Empire of Men. There are no known general it seems. Okay, so we are just going to go very fast and easy with it. Um, yeah, comments down below what type of good army are you cooking up? Or are you going to be one of the evil? armies and if so yeah hey give me a little heads up and um, if you want to see one just uh, look at the, the army book for the, the evil books also demigriff knights nice they are looking so nice i have a little collection of uh, empire too there's the stank nice griffins yeah there's a lot of cool stuff here as well And we have to soak a little bit in with this uh, very, very, this is very nice. I very much enjoy fully painted with Warhammer um, uh, 
buildings and stuff in the background that's very cool very cool looking they are looking so good with the demi um, yeah and then why I bought this book is for the kingdom of Britannia okay I kind of just want to dig in and just read everything <laughs> but we are going to go very fast with these two we have to be fair yes we have lords we have handmaidens of the lady Sergeant at arms. Oh, that's interesting. That's a kind of new little thing there. Hmm, interesting. Sergeant of arms. So you can uh, you can go uh, with or without the Bretonian war horse, I guess. But yeah, we are going to not ponder too much. Then we had the Bardic Pegasus, so you can choose what types you will have with uh, with uh, sur sergeants. So there you can build up, build your own characters. That's very cool. And then you have Knight of the Realms with the uh, horse and everything. Uh, I think... No, there's actually not... Interesting. You can take... Um, I was saying I'm, I'm not going to dwell too much about it. But yeah, these are Knights of the Realm on foot, of course. And then you have squares. Oh, Men at Arms. Peasant Bowman. Battle Pilgrims and Grail Relic. Nice! Knight Errant. Mounted Knights of the Realm. Questing Knights. Let's go! Grail Knights. Pegasus Knights. Mounted Yeoman. Hippogrift. Field Trebuchet. There we go. Knightly Watchers. Items. Special Rules. Lady. The Lance Formation. Finally coming back. Uh, but they didn't take back the arrowhead formation and here we have very cool with the binder of the book on that page that that says something looking very good I have him um, I'm not going to choose a uh, look at look him up right now but yeah battle pilgrims so you have uh, uh, some of the uh, red hand duke but you also have Grail Knights, there are Knight Errants, oh yeah we should uh, move along but holy shit there's so many cool things, there you have the Bretonian Paladin, and then we have Wood Elves, here we go, are you a Wood Elf fan, here we have some good stuff for you, Shadow Dancers, Waystalkers, Freeman Ancient, oh they are scary, you can remember them, back in the day, War Dancers, Dryads, Sister of the Thorn, Glade Raiders, Wild Riders, Warhawk Riders, Horse Dragon, Great Eagle, Treeman, Horse Spirits, Magics. Let's see. Yeah, fully painted army ready to go. Let's go. Bringing some pain to some chaos. That's cool. These miniatures are so cool looking. Ah, Sister of the Thorn. Okay, and then we have High Elves. So, my kids, they have Dwarves and they are High Elves. So we might end up uh, just muster everything and just make a big melee with each other. I have enough um, Bretonian, so, so one of my kids can have a little Bretonian, I can have Bretonian. High elves and dwarves and then we go for four player battle melee that would be fun sky cutters griffon dragons Uflat, flame pirate phoenix frost heart great art eagle claw bot bolt throwers cool and we have some magic And then we are closing, closing the chapters of this book with uh, the awesome army mustard ready to, to battle. Look at this. That one is awesome. Huh. And there we are sending off with the royal Duke uh, showing uh, who, what's what, what's new on the block. 
the new old <laughs> Bretonian. Very cool with the trebuchet on top there. Very. Uh, this is. I, I'm, I'm looking very much forward to look even closer into the army list composition. And everything. First glance, it actually looks like a, a very good um, book to use to co like make your army. I saw some information in here. That's very nice. So if you are in 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 Dupt, you can just go into here and let's see if I can find it. This is interesting. Yeah, base size. It says it uh, or 60 by 100 millimeter for Lutheran sky cutters and so on. So every base base size is uh, mentioned there. And uh, I am very curious about the trebuchet. <laughs> Battle pilgrims, Battle Pilgrim Grail Relics should be on a 50 by 75 millimeter. Okay, I need to do something with my Grail Relic. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, 30 by 60 are the questing knights. So every every knight have a bigger uh, like um, a base, and also 40 by 60 the Pegasus knights. So everything everything has a new base. It's kind of a little bit eh. Okay, you do me like that. Okay, so then they say uh, 60 by 100 for the war machine and 25 by 25 for the crew. Okay, that's not bad. I have two trebuchets. They are awesome and... Uh, but yeah, it's inter interesting. They can't... Cannot be moved by its crew during a remaining moving subphase. So they are stuck where they are. Anyways, yeah, it's. Um, I need to go more in depth to to be actually at any help for for breaking down the army list composition and everything. But I am going to do my best building a, 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 a little Bretonian um, army list uh, and very interesting with Knight of the Realm on foot and uh, the Surgeon at Arms, which you then can choose to have on. Uh, Warhorse or uh, Warhorse <laughs> and then character mods. You can make uh, characters so a Duke Baron can do Warhorse, Pegasus or Royal Pegasus or Hippogriff Duke and Barons only um, and Prophecies and Demansel. So that's very very cool and very fun way you can just uh, make your own heroes and then you can build them and they're probably a min max to what's cool and what's best and everything like that. But I, at the first uh, army uh, I'm going to build with my Bretonians are going to be something more kind of fluff and kind of fun. Of course, I want to win the games, but eh, at the end of the day, you, you throw some dice and hope it rolls the right way. <laughs> so, yeah, we are, I am going to leave it with that. Thank you all watching and thank you to tabletopbattle.no for being sponsor of the channel and thank you to my patrons it means a lot and um, yeah see you in the next one bye now